Hi guys, this is Lucas Miller. Usually I post videos of myself playing the piano and singing, but I would like to post videos of myself reading stories as well. Usually I'm not very good at speaking in front of a camera. When I want to say something, I write it all down and just record it on a voice memo app and then put the recording up on YouTube but I would like to get better at speaking in front of a camera. So you'll know, please bear with me if my voice sounds stiff and awkward. This is a learning experience for me. It is no mistake that most fan fiction stories suck. The reasons for this are multiple. Either the writer does not finish the story and therefore the reader feels cheated because there is no sense of closure or he doesn't understand the essence of the novel or the movie that he is basing his fan fiction story off of, or he adds modern sensibilities in a story that takes place in another time and culture that doesn't jibe well with the essence of the book or the movie. Nevertheless, there are some good fan fiction stories out there you just have to be patient and wade through the quagmire of muck on fanfiction.net and archives of our own in order to find some really good gold nuggets. I would like to share a gold nugget with you that I found last year. I still return to this story every so often because it is so well written. If you are a fan of A Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, if you have read these books and know them like the back of your palm, then you'll remember the sour feeling you had when Susan was not at the end with all the others in the last battle when they went to Aslan's country. And she is dismissed by one of her brothers as a trivial and silly woman who is obsessed with nylons, lipsticks, and invitations. But what readers tend to forget is that Susan just lost her family and some close friends in a railway accident. So she couldn't be thinking of nylons, lipsticks, and invitations at that point. Wouldn't such a dreadful calamity cause her to do some soul searching and long for Narnia and Aslan again? So I found a really, really good story about that. A really good story that serves as an epilogue for the last battle of how Susan learns to heal from the loss. It's called Hope Deferred by Broken Kestrel. I'm going to read it to you tomorrow because it is one of my all-time favorite fan fiction stories. It is very deeply moving, has a great respect for C.S. Lewis, and it uses elements that tie into the rest of the novels, such as Susan going to the professor's house, looking for the wardrobe, and then going to a thrift store where she finds the wardrobe, and then she buys him puts it into her house and uses it to try to get back to Narnia, talking to the heir, Aslan, please bring me back to Narnia. Please let me get back to Narnia. And Aslan waits 15, 16, or 17 times for her to call his name before answering her and telling her what she needs to do to heal. So tomorrow I will read the story for you. I hope you are blessed by it as much as I was. Have a wonderful day and God bless.